Welcome to TalkingsGeeks.com Reviews. Justin here, and today I'll be reviewing the visual novel entitled High School Possessions, which is available on Steam. This is brought to you by the publisher AJ, AJTilly.com. Um, so let me give you a brief synopsis before I give you my thoughts and an overview of the actual visual novel. High School Possessions is a visual novel game following a young man who wakes up in a body of another student. Learning his friends may not be living the perfect lives he thought they were. This is basically following the main character of um, Hiroku, or Rick, I guess that, that's how you say it in Japanese. And he has a crush on two students, um, Eikoyo and Kasumi. And he basically idolizes these girls. He literally calls them his idols and what happens is that you before the actual i will say story picks up during the i will say second chapter second act of the actual game you get an introduction to who the main protagonist is and honestly i do not like the main protagonist i, I felt that he was just a very insecure whiny guy and he just had no type of confidence and it's amazing how any girl will actually even give this guy any type of time or dare or even have a crush on him. He has no confidence. He has no likability. And he's honestly a kind of a creep because when he takes over the girl's bodies and he gets to see life from their perspectives, the first thing he does is masturbate. He literally kind of master he, he literally masturbates. He touches the girl's body, he gets them to a point of orgasm, and the whole point is just like, you're trying to relate to this guy, but I cannot relate as someone who's reading this novel, visual novel, I cannot relate to this guy. I really do not, after those type of acts, he did it to both of them, by the way, after those type of acts, I don't really care about his character because he's he's a scumbag. And, they, you know, the writing is, the, the story moves very slowly. It doesn't really grab you until, I would say, towards the end where the girls start to, you get to see how the girls' lives truly are. And not to give you spoilers or anything like that, but it's really dark. It gets dark from the, um, the perspective of each girl. One of the girls is being bullied. The other girl is dealing with this boyfriend who doesn't give a crap about her, but she continues to have sex with him. Even though she knows that he doesn't care, but she does it anyway, and she's a cutter, and, and there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. And those are probably the key high points of this visual novel, is that you get to see the plight and the darkness that the girls have. That this guy has this image of them, of this perfect woman, and that they're so smart and so grand, but you don't really see the perspective of what they actually go through. I think the, the developer did a great job of illustrating that for the uh, visual novel, but I also feel that there are certain things about the main character that falls flat that we don't really care whether he ends up with the girls or not. We don't end up with the fate he's not because he does certain actions like making the girls masturbate once he gets into the girls' bodies that makes you feel like, okay, whatever they're going through, you're doing something much worse. You're kind of violating them and you're kind of, you know, not really helping them out like you have choices the um choices that you make um will give you branches of different stories and different endings you have choices to lie choices to continue doing certain things i'm not trying to spoil anything for you guys because if you want to check it out i'll leave things up to the imagination i just feel like the main character wasn't really that great um but for the presentation of the visual novel overall i do like the art style i think the art style is really good i like the background the textures i like the character designs I do have a little bit of a problem with the font. I think the font could have been a little bit bigger. And I think the color of the blue doesn't go really well with certain backgrounds. Like there's a scene where you have a water background and the blue just doesn't really translate well. It makes it really hard to read. So maybe the developer can go back in and change the font a little bit or make it a little bit bigger for people who really probably wear glasses or don't see certain colors very well i think it should be more user friendly with that also the music i really did like it has an enjoyable soundtrack i, I do enjoy the music it, it's fitting it's mellow it fits for the themes that it was going for um i do like the choices but it doesn't really 
have like a huge major major impact like other visual novel stories go i mean if this is the first time um the developers doing the visual novel then it's pretty good for a first try but there's ways this game could have been handled better in ways the game could have been presented and done what much more better um but overall i will say that it's a different the concept is there it's just the execution didn't reach the point that I wanted to see the story go. I think that the main character is a complete unlikable character. I had no real connection towards him. I didn't feel for him. I didn't care for him. Uh, I thought the actions once he got to the girls' bodies were even worse than some of the things that's actually happening to some of the girls there. It's kind of like he was manipulating things to go his way. And in a way, uh, that doesn't really fly well. But the whole point of seeing life from a different perspective through somebody else's eyes, that point across really does do well especially with this character Kazumi where you get to see her being bullied and you get to see that okay this is why she's so quiet this is why she's so reserved that part and that element actually works and I did enjoy that but I just felt like the visual novel could have been a little bit longer um choices could have been more better choices to branch the story out a little bit more better um, also felt that there could have been a lot more to the main character, more backstory. I felt like the pacing could have been better a little bit too. It does get a little bit boring, especially in the beginning. Like the whole first act before he actually starts switching the bodies is just kind of, I would say, unnecessary conversation about test exams which had no real impact on the actual story. And, you know, th there's just conversations that just go on and on and has no type of relevance or impact to the story so that's something i wish you know could have been a little bit done better but if i have to give this thing a final grade i'm going to be giving high school possession a c minus you might check it out when it's on sale it's on steam right now if you guys want to check it out um it's pretty short it took me like two to three hours to finish it so definitely um c minus this is justin from tacosgeeks.com saying later days we'll catch you on the next one Peace.